David, when you commit to a project, what are some of the first things you do to get into character and to kind of get yourself ready for that role? Um, you know, it always starts with the script and the director, of course, and just being able to kind of, um, you know, go through the script intensely and find out, you know, what you connect with. And, and then, um, and then depending on that is how you start your research and, you know, get in shape and that kind of stuff. Sure. I'm sure the research for Jack was probably entertaining. I have to ask you this. How many days of sex scenes were there on set? <laughs> Let's just go right for it. I know. There were a <laughs> lot of sex scenes. Mm -hmm. It was pretty intense. I mean, the craziest scene was uh, it's high speed. So uh, we, you just have to sit there for 20, 30 minutes and do a bunch of different positions and the camera's just rolling and you kind of get lost in the fact that uh, it's just you and her. The crew walked away. Yeah. We set ca cameras up shooting one frame per second and I said to David and Bai, just have some fun, have fun together. And we had been, they had been, we'd been doing the movie for three weeks now. They were very comfortable. Everybody went away, far away. So it was just the two of them with cameras and lights and it was shot, you know, time lapse essentially. And I think we left you alone for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was really wild. It was like the longest scene I've ever <laughs> shot ever. David did do all the artwork in the movie. All that art is his own art. He painted, all, he did the, the book, he did all the artwork. So he did, that was a lot of prep there as that well. That was, yeah, for sure. The art was a big part of it. And originally, one of the earlier Jeffs, it was a writer. He was a writer. Even though, because there was so much, um... That's right. In my original yeah. draft, he was a writer, and we changed him to, to, to an artist because David is a really great artist. Just going back to the sex scenes again and having that freedom. <laughs> Sorry, that's no, where my that mind's is, going. It's all right. That's where this, <laughs> this whole early. movie, like, um, <laughs> it explores sexuality. I mean, it's, it's all what it's all about, essentially. Sure, and marriage and secrets and yeah, things like that. Yeah, exactly. Which a lot of people don't want to talk Communication. Yeah, communication. And also obsession and... Mm -hmm like what turns you on, you know? Um, the, the thing about his character is he pushes this whole thing forward. He's kind of turned on by his wife sleeping with someone else. It gets him, it makes him jealous, but it also really gets him excited and it reignites their, their marriage in some ways. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, it's a, about, um, one of the things it's about is how complicated human beings are sexually. So how did he pitch the script to you? Um, he actually sent the script to me. He was working with Joanna Ray, casting director that I love, and, and she's wonderful. And he said, uh, I'm doing this film. I'm interested in you for it. And I read the script, and, you know, th that's all it took. It's just such a... I, I know what an incredible director Jeffrey is, so uh, I just it's sort of envisioning what he's going to do with this whole world and how different it'd look. And, and, and the, it's still, I can't even wrap my head around it. It's such an interesting art piece. It's, it's definitely like an art piece rather than just a film. Very much so. Well, we always hear that films that are in the one to 10 million range are the hardest to not only get made, but also make your money back on. Mm -hmm. How are you able to do that with the key? I don't know. I know you haven't shown it yet. So in terms of investors, how did you pitch this to um, investors? Or? Uh, no, I... My company financed the movie. We shot it at my house with all my own equipment um, here where we are. I own all the equipment. Um, the crew worked for, and the cast worked for very little, uh, you know. Uh, so I, I am in a place where I just wanted to make the movie and I'm hoping I can make, you know, the money back on the movie. Right. We'll see. Well, you're doing something very interesting, and you are hosting a film festival, mm -hmm. uh, November 21st through the 28th, and I believe both films, The Key and Me, will play before each submission. Right. Why do it that way? Well, we, we just wanted to kind of, the idea is that um, what I'm trying to do with the studio is really experiment, and not just experiment with content, but experiment with the entire process of filmmaking. Um, the con you know, how you do the films, how you post the films, how you distribute the films. We also wanted to sort of, and how you socialize the films, how, how you 
start a film society and make things happen that way. So the idea was to get some filmmakers who wanted to show their films and let them, it, we're calling it, it's like guest filmmakers. And for the first week, there's six or seven guest filmmakers that are coming in and showing their films one time, including Susan Trailer, who I did Me With. She has a great film which has never been seen called Welcome to California, which is a fantastic experimental film um, that she made. And I wanted to, to, op to give other people a chance to be part of this whole thing. So that was the sort of, it's, it's kind of a, an, a, an idea, a, sort of a social idea, you know? Uh, and, the, and also, we're, I'm trying to raise money to buy a theater in Los Angeles which will show exclusively digital independent films. It'll be like a, a film festival 365 days a year. I'm trying to buy the actual, the Fine Arts Theater on Wilshire Boulevard near La Cienega. And it would be kind of like this ongoing thing. We would only show independent films that didn't get distribution elsewhere, but it, you would come there and there'd be a little cafe and there, it, there would be people talking about films and blah, 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 and all this stuff, like an ongoing film festival all the time. Um, but nonprofit, and that's really, really key for me, nonprofit. The film festivals have become the big ones for profit almost. They seem like they're corporate entities. And so they're trying to put butts in seats and they need big stars and blah, blah, blah. It would be the opposite of that. Very nice. And so we're trying mm -hmm. to experiment and see if this works and see what happens in order to, as I'm raising money to do this project, this nonprofit project. David, I enjoyed your role as Jack, and I found him edgy and very human. But are you afraid of how other directors may feel, oh, well, he can only do sort of this dark, almost voyeur type of character and not a Disney role? I mean, do you ever feel afraid that you're going to get sort of pigeonholed in one way or another? I don't really, no, I don't really worry about that because, you know, I mean, someone could pigeonhole me as like a goofy comedian, you know what I mean? If they wanted to for certain roles that I've done. So doing a film like this actually gives me an opportunity to show a side that a lot of people don't know, the voyeuristic, you know, sexual charged side, you know, that uh, I actually don't get the opportunity to play characters like that very often. So no soccer dad roles, you, you, you enjoy sort of delving into You did this. Beethoven, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Beethoven 3, right? Yeah, no, David, did, David was I the dad in Beethoven 3. Yeah, it was a, he did actual, do Cease yeah, I knew you did a dog movie. Yeah. 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 And, uh, you can clean it up. Know, or, yeah. yeah, I do a voice on a, a little Disney kids cartoon. So, you know, I've been in the business for like 27 years professionally. And just I've been always in the business for 25 <laughs> years, kid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, uh, Robert I just Dobby like to... You know, mix it up and do different things. And, you know, there aren't many films, there's no film like The Key. And what he's done here is really unique and interesting. And having an opportunity to, to act in, in uh, projects that are so different and so unique and so artistic based is just a luxury just to be able to be a part of it. This is the kind of collaborator you want. Someone who's an artist. David is a really, he is a, an artist himself, but he's, in, in many different ways, in many different areas, including acting, but also fine arts, magic, all sorts of things. But he's also so, so he was incredibly supportive of this whole thing and really like inspired me to, to push this really far.